Hello and welcome to AutoCAD. So in this lecture, we are going to continue our exercise that we have created and that was the exercise using the sweep and fillet. And now we are going to see some evaluation things in uh, that exercise that we have created. Here we are going to apply materials like the real time materials and we are also going to calculate the mass. So the exercise that I'm talking about is basically this one over here. And this was the exercise that we have created. If you haven't watched this lecture or this first lecture of this series, then you just go for it and you can just watch it. The link is provided in the description box. But uh, it's better to just go for this, how we have created this exercises before going for this video. And here in this video, we are going to see how we can just provide different materials. So to provide a different material, what we have to do, we have to go in the feature manager tree that is provided over here and in that you can see that there is a section that is telling you that there is a material not specified so right now in this current object since we have created this object so there is no material specified uh, what this CAD software do it just created a body with a default material you can say that there is no uh, there is no material that contain that does not contains any material properties basically here it is just a graphics over here but it is not containing any kind of material so here we have to specify that material so to specify that material you just have to go for this material section just right click over that and you will see that there is an edit material option just click on this edit material and once I clicked on that you can see that a material dialog box will going to open and here you can see the magic since SOLIDWORKS is very good in its material library you can see that there is a lot of materials that is available in SOLIDWORKS like you can see that in the steel there are a lot of types of steel that is available like AISI 1010, AISI 1015 so these are different variations of steel that is basically contains different properties like over here you can see that properties are also mentioned if I'm going to click on this material you can see that the poison ratio, elastic materials, tensile strength, hardness, material density and also any uh, basically the properties of for the structural, thermal as well uh, basically as well as the endurance every properties is provided over here that you should be using so just like the steel you will see that there are a lot of irons as well there's a ductile iron cast iron and all and similarly we have the aluminums as well so you can see that there are a lot of aluminium and similarly we have the copper tin and also you can see that how big the material library of solid box is you can even create your own custom material using uh, this custom material section uh, you can just create your own material if you are unable to find out the material that you want you can even apply your own material that we are going to cover in uh, later lectures in the later videos basically right now we are going to use the default that is provided over here so let's say that we are going for the steel so if i'm going to click on the steel you can just select any of the steel uh, i'm going for let's just say that uh, this type asi 4340 or you can just, just go for the AISI 4130 basically this is the steel that contains chromium and its vibration capacity is very much so you can just search this AISI 4130 steel in internet and you can find out all the important features like how this made how, what are the alloys of uh, basically what is added to make it like over here I know that the chromium is added so you can just see that in the internet and once done you can just click on this apply and just apply it and just close it that's it now you can see that in the feature manager tree the AISI 4130 annealed at 865 degree is written it means that the material has been applied to the body and now you can even see that the body is also the appearance of the body is also changed so the materials is reflecting the appearance as well so it means that we have applied the material and it's the material that is mentioned over here now if you want to change this material you can again go for right click over this and you can just click on this edit material and you can again select whatever material that you want let's just go for the copper and let's say that i want to go for the beryllium copper over here so i've clicked on this beryllium, beryllium copper i'm going to click on the apply and now you can see that it is being applied over here and this is how this body has been changed. So this is how you can just apply a material. Applying a material plays a very important role in assembly. Like you can just assemble the whole parts and you can see that what will be the final 
mass of the product that you have created we can even evaluate the mass of this so now we are going to see how we can just evaluate the mass so it's a very easy task for you you just have to go for the evaluate property over here and in that you will see that there is a mass property so if i'm going to click on this mass property you can see that a dialog box will going to open and you can see that it will going to contain all the important data related to the mass of this body so right now you can see that its density is 0.01 grams per cubic millimeter so we have selected the unit as mmgs so we are working on this unit that's why all the uh, basically units are in millimeter grams and seconds so you can see that there is a density that is provided it depends upon the material that you have selected and according to that density you can see that its mass is 900.75 grams so it's a very light material it's less than 1 kg it's a very small material that's why and how it has calculated the mass basically we know that uh, whatever material that we have applied it will have some density and you can see that it will if we are going to create a model in solidworks solidworks will going to calculate its volume so when we have the volume when we have uh, the density then density is equals to mass by volume and we have the volume we can just multiply the density with this mass uh, basically volume with this density and you can see that ultimately we'll be, we will going to get the mass value so it is using that phenomenon for calculating the mass you can see its volume is also written so you can see that uh, i'm not uh, telling you the lie its volume it has calculated its volume even it's calculated its surface area so a lot of important properties or important data is provided like what will be the center of mass of this body and what will be the principle of axis of inertia so axis of rotation moment of inertia and moment of uh, inertia in the square millimeter so a lot of properties basically is important over here and that it is mentioning since it's a play um, it plays a very major role so you can just print out it is providing you that you can just print out it directly from here you can just if you have printer connected you can just directly print it out or even you can just convert it into the pdf just press the ok button and that's it you can even copy it to the clipboard and if i'm going to click on this it, the whole data will going to be copied up and you can just paste it anywhere you want now right now since we have selected a material which is beryllium copper so its value is written 900.75 gram let's just change the material and let's just see if it is altering or not so for that i'm going to click on this material and i'm going to click on this edit material and now i'm going for the plastic material so that it becomes a less weight so i'm going for the plastic and i'm going to select any plastic let's just go for the abs over here just click on this abs just click on this apply and now you can see that if i have applied the abs plastic it is looking just like what abs will look like now if i'm going for its mass property now you can see that its mass is 101.23 grams so its mass is decreased when we have applied the beryllium copper that mass was around 900 grams but right now it's 111.23 grams so you can see that it's actually calculating the mass so it's not like that it is showing you up you as some random values while applying the uh, material it is changing its mass now let's just make it more heavier let's just apply a more heavy material like uh, the iron let's just go for the iron over here and just apply a cast iron just we have applied a gray cast iron over here and you can see that again its appearance has been changed now just go for its mass property and you can see that its material basically it is lighter than the copper beryllium copper that we have applied and you can see that it's 785.15 grams so its mass is actually changing and its volume will not going to be changed its surface area will not going to be changed its density as well as its mass will going to alter so this is how you can just change the mass let's just change it to millimeter kilogram so we have changed the unit and now if i'm going for the mass property you can see that everything is now being mentioned in kilograms so you can even use the different units to create it so this is all about this lecture so we have seen about how to calculate the mass and how to just apply different materials to any 
model that you are going to create in SOLIDWORKS. If you have liked this video, then please do thumbs up. You just press the thumbs up button to like it and share it with your friends. And if you want this type of contents more, then please subscribe this channel. If you are going to subscribe it, then you are going to get the notification of whatever the new video that we are going to upload for you. This channel is made for your education purpose and we are going to just get you a very interesting topics like that every time. So please subscribe it. And that's all for this one. And I'm going to catch up you in the next one.